Hi, welcome to Flucatronic. Up today, we're going to take a first instrument look at this new whistle I've got in. This is a, kind of a rare instrument. This is a low G soft blow or narrow bore by Colin Goldie. I don't think he makes many of these. Um, and I got this uh, used technically, but uh, pretty much new um, from another player that uh, gave it a try and just didn't like it for a couple of reasons. And we'll get into that in a few minutes. So this is pretty rare because, um, first of all, the G key is not all that popular with um, real whistle play players, I'll say. Um, and this one has some unique playing characteristics that might not make it appropriate for uh, kind of your standard session player, if you will. Um, but let's, uh, let's just give a, a, a listen here. It gets up there. <laughs> um, quick tune. Few flubs, but you get the idea. Let's try a slow one. So that gives you a good idea of the sound. Um, so I won't go into too much detail on the bore. I'm going to take my other whistles. I'll give you a, a separate video with my other G whistles, and we'll kind of compare what the, uh, the narrow bore means. Um, but this has some kind of unique playing characteristics. It does have a somewhat low air requirement, which the uh, previous owner did not care for at all. In fact, he had. Uh, the uh, head pulled out way, way far to try and get it flat to, to maybe push some more air down and, and um, raise the pitch that way, but it just kind of doesn't work. So you need um, kind of a, a low air stream on the bottom, especially. So you can see if you start giving it too much air, it really wants to break. And that's kind of the point, I believe, of the narrow bore uh, concept is that you're going to get a relatively weak low end, but what that also gives you is a kind of sparkly high end. And you could you could hear in the uh, scale there, it's pretty easy to get up into the third octave, um, what I would call C, but uh, the, the high G and then the A note um, into the third octave. So that's, that's pretty cool. Um, in uh, fact, we'll, we'll see if, if I can succeed here, but that, that fast tune I can actually play on the second octave on, on a good day. <laughs> so let's see what happens there. Okay, I'll stop there. Yeah, you can't really get above the, uh, the second note in the third octave, so that kind of doesn't work. But the um, the slow one you can do, although um, 
doing that in the second octave kind of isn't not great either, but <laughs> kind of defeats the purpose of that particular song, but you can do it. Okay, I'm, I'm still getting to know the whistle and uh, its air requirements. Um, one of the things I'm finding, um, I guess the combination of the narrow bore and this very narrow windway, flat narrow windway, it's not so much the um, amount of air that's the problem, or not a problem, but the, um, the thing it needs, especially in that second octave, is to really get more pressure behind the breath. So you don't need a lot of air, but you need kind of um, kind of a high pressure, good di diaphragm support, if you will, um, to, to get up, especially in the upper reaches of uh, the second octave and then into the third. You really need that high pressure airstream to, uh, to get it to speak um, the way it's intended. So it, it's going to take me a little more time to get really used to this, but I want to go ahead and give you um, first look um, impression, and I think I'm going to like it. Um, it's definitely going to take a little bit of getting used to, um, but the, the voice is really nice. There's not a lot of chiff there, even up into the upper octave. <clears throat> so it's very pure tone. Um, definitely like the tone. Um, if I was ordering one just from scratch, uh, honestly, I don't know if I would order the narrow. I'd probably start with kind of the regular medium blower. Um, but since I got it, <laughs> probably not going to sell it either. First Goldie, and uh, we'll we'll see if um if I acquire more. Um, that's all for today. Thanks.